all exercises don't only deal with muscles reacting. A lot of times we deal with what's called proprioception. And proprioception is your body's ability of knowing where it is. It's very important in balance. Um, whether you're an elite athlete or you're an amateur athlete or you're just somebody who's walking around a lot and finds yourself off balance. What we do is we have a way of working with proprioception of standing on a, a really flexible pad to stimulate your brain in knowing where your body is. So what we're going to do is go through a little bit of a routine that we use in getting your proprioception and actually getting your brain tuned in with your body. And I have to tell you, it's it is not easy and we'll tie that into even some of the shoulder stuff that we did or some of the exercises that we did. And one thing I start off with, uh, I like doing this routine with most people with any kind of back pain or any knee or ankle injuries. And you actually don't even need a balance pad to start until you get into some really high levels of balance. What you can do is actually, if you just stand still and get up on one leg, you should be able to go ahead and demonstrate you should be able to hold that position for at least a good minute. Once that's pretty easy to do. Wait, hold it, but to jump into that, now also what makes that even harder is if you close your eyes and do it, and then it becomes much, much harder. So that would be the next level of, because you're changing the neurology of the brain when your eyes are closed off to that. So that's taking it up to a second level on that. So as soon as you close your eyes, you should still, you should be able to work up and your balance will actually come along really, really fast if you do this. I actually like doing it when I brush my teeth. I have one of those two minute things. And if you can hold your uh, eyes closed through the whole two minutes, you're pretty good. Um, one, a couple of balance tricks I'll give you. Uh, one, you always want to try to stay upright. Like lots of people will look down, but if you watch like a pro surfer or a pro skateboarder, when I start looking down, you see my center of gravity is kind of shifted. When I keep everything upright, and my, it's a lot easier to balance. And if I'm doing anything with my eyes open, I want to focus on one point, like kind of far away, and keep my focus there the entire time. So if I'm on one leg, I'm focusing all the way to that wall, and my head is straight, and I can stand here all day long. Now as soon as I close my eyes, I lose that, and it makes it a little bit harder and you'll find you work a lot of the little tiny muscles in your ankles. And then do you want to demonstrate the next step once that's pretty easy? No, because I would actually end up falling over. So I'm having Jane doing the demonstration on that. So what you can do is uh, you can hop on Amazon, whatever, and get any sort of balance pad. This happens to be one that the Sixers use in their locker room, but you, they make uh, little half balls. And it, what it does, it's just going to make it a touch more wobbly. So if you hop on, even just standing now on one leg on that, go ahead and stand on one leg, it's going to be pretty challenging. So you can see her shifting her weight around, and what's happening is the little tiny muscles in that foot are figuring out where they are in space. So that as you're walking along, say you trip and your foot slips off the curb, your body's going to be able to catch itself now. Yeah, it's just a way in the neurology of the brain to make things work better and more efficiently. Once again, not a, a, a heavy stretch on it, this is more of a neurological arc change. And one other tip I can give you is if you are doing any of the band work, uh, if that becomes a little too easy for you, you can actually hop on one of these. Go ahead and do any band stretch. Or here, back it up this way. So you can hop onto one of these and just do any of the band work. It's going to make it that much uh, more unstable and harder. And you can even hop on just one leg and do that. So I think it's time for an eyes closed one leg contest between the three of us. Uh, no, we're not even. We're not heading there because I will end up falling through your front window. 